what is up Diozy fans today we will be reviewing Wings of Fire book 10 Darkness of Dragons is it dark is it good or is it just trash these are amazing questions to ask about this book so let's get on to it if you're wondering times times are in the description if I'm able to put them most of these normally get added within uh, six to seven days so yeah sorry about that anyway moving on we got the announcements so basically this week was supposed to go differently on thursday was the day this video was going to come out but i ended up getting really tired on both days and the weekend uh we ha so there's still an amazing big video coming up it'll be coming up tomorrow with memeing monday if you're wondering what memeing monday is it's my monthly series that i began almost a month ago yeah specifically almost a month ago and tomorrow's the di tomorrow's the day that we go back to the same subreddit to check out the new memes that have popped up. So don't forget to stay tuned for that. Uh, that's going to be an easy video to make, so it won't take this much time editing. Also, I am extremely excited for a lot of the new videos. I'm already completing these uh, the whole book series, and when I'm done, I'm going to get to read Warrior Cats, which is a series that I want to dive into. If you're wondering, I've been spoiled by the internet about... I have been spoiled by the internet about one character, because uh, about Tiger Star, okay? I mean, like, when I searched up Warrior Cats, Tiger Star came up, and I wanted to look up what happened to him, so... Eh, that, that's just there. If you're wondering what happens to him, you'll have to read the books for yourself. But guys, I'll send you this announcement, so let's get on with the video. Okay, so first up, let's go over the summary. So the summary of the book is basically, Kibli continues where Turtle leaves, Kibli stays in Jade Mountain. He realizes that he can duplicate his earring, frees everyone from Darkstalker spell except Winter, goes around to save his friend. I forgot his friend's name. Guys, uh, basically he's trying to save his friend and and they get trapped in Scorpion Den by his grandfather. Then they escape with his mom. And Thorn finds them. Onyx returns. Onyx gets injured, so they leave Thorn. Um, it, and then he goes to meet Darkstalker. They're, um, after Winter finally gets his senses, he's like, we should kill Darkstalker. No, we shouldn't. No, we should and there's this whole ice wing curse. Yeah, it's a really, really long book. Um, anyway, eventually the night wings and the ice wings have this decent battle where they go against each other before um, basically Kibli stops in. So, so yeah. Anyway, this is the base story. Um, and then basically they defeat Darkstarker and the book's done. If you're wondering why it was that the longest summary, because this is the longest main series WAF book, so can't change that. Okay, now let's move on to this. Sorry, now let's go to the settings. So the settings are pretty much just very simple. We got Jade Mountain, where the first and the last settings take place, which I'm fine with. It's a decent area, nothing amazing. Amazing. We also have, also have the Scorpion Den and Thorns Palace and Darkstalker's Palace. These are the only settings there. Are other settings there are. Um, the settings aren't as abbreviate. No, we don't get as much as the Scorpion Den. Like I want just a book on the kingdom themselves, which is why I'm really excited for the Dragon's Guide to Pyria, because that's gonna have so much information that I truly want to know about. So yeah. But back to the main book. Um, the settings are fine, there's nothing amazing about them, but they're not trash. Okay, story. Uh, the story is... Well, I don't know how to say this, but the story is basically, the story itself is just... What? Like, they literally shift this story so much throughout the whole Jade Mountain arc. If you're wondering, guys, with this video, I'll, there's a 90% chance that I'll also upload my short Jade Mountain review, where I review the whole prophecy as a set, so, yeah. But, that's gonna also come out today, if hopefully. But, yeah, I don't know what they did with this story itself. The, the main villain is set out to be Vulture slash and Onyx, but then after 
Onyx gets injured and Watcher disappears, they like slowly shift it to Darkstalker. Okay. And then they're like Darkstalker is the main villain. And that's how they shift the story. But the problem is they just do these twists and turns like they're in Jade Mountain, they need to leave to take Ostrich. They find Ostrich, so they leave. Cobra's finally good, which is good character development. All that character development is thrown in the trash. Then we get Thorn and Thorn and Smolder. And then Onyx is revealed, but there's not as much reaction as usual, and pretty much Smolder is like, what? And yeah, that's basically a gist of how the book normally goes. They're like, we're going to introduce some development for some characters, then immediately we're going to remove all of it, because why does it care? They like introduce Kibley's siblings, but they're barely even like properly talked about, and most dragons in that fact. Which is why I feel like this book is just, eh. Uh, the story overall is just eh. Uh. Okay, characters. Kibli. Do I even have to say? Kibli was one of the best characters. Um, his comedic timing with his amazing um, prowess of getting a good idea is just amazing. To say the truth, he reminds me of Lego Batman. Don't know why, but he does, so yeah. Winter. Okay, so Winter is... Why did they make Winter so hateable? We truly just lost his character development in J in this whole prophecy. But this book stooped him so low. Like, I just was like, what is wrong with you, Winter? He literally upset the moon, hurt Kibli. He joined the war then helping his own friends. He's like... It's my tribe, I need to help. Yeah, it's the tribe that left me to die. Let's help them. And overall, Winter just became my least favorite character in this book. Um, he was g good at moments, like, he's really good at sometimes, but most of the time, he's just annoying. Then you got Thornslap and Smolder, they're just funny. They're pretty much just comedic relief for some reason. They have their importance, but Smolder and Thorn together are comedic relief. Thorn itself is amazing though. Onyx, hmm, nothing much. Sorry, my Alexa activated. Again, activated, okay. Anyway, Onyx is, okay. They're not, she's not amazing. Most characters in here are just okay. Moon, okay. Kinkuju, okay. Turtle, okay. I'm gonna just put all their faces up. And honestly, a lot of character development was thrown in the trash, like Washer and Cobra. All their character development was just thrown in the trash, which is what I hate. And yeah, this has got to be the shortest character parts I'm giving. Okay. Um, personal reactions slash and rating. Okay. My personal thoughts are, it's decent, but there are definitely a lot of flaws with this book. I don't know why there are, but there are. And while the book overall is good, they just dump a lot of things that have built it up through the whole prophecy. And sure, they make a decent ending, but that ending's still not going over the really, really, really awful plot. And to say the truth, I love characters and all that, and Jade Mountain perfects characters, but they really, really need to improve their story. Because story is the main reason that we read a book. We read a book mainly for its story. The characters might matter too, but they also, everything revolves around a story. Whereas in this um, whole prophecy, everything just revolves around the characters, even including the story, the side characters, even the plot and the main villain. All Everything revolves around the characters. And I get it, but they really need to improve the story overall, and especially in this book, because the story just flips all around. The Ice Week uh, naming battle is just completely sidelined, and everything is just really, really bad. Now, pretty much to all the, uh, pretty much like book nine, I had a decently good rating for this, um, but the rating for rating for book ten. Uh, then the darkness of dragons is going to be a 7.5. Um, I did a lot, com lot of complaining, but the hindsight is that this book is still pretty funny and a good read. I know I there's there's like infinitely bad problems, but those problems and most of them are barely solved. But they still find a way to do good on the whole story in itself, which is why I don't really flame this book as much, and I feel like this is a good story.
So anyway guys, what would be your rating of the Waff books? Don't forget to check out my Jade Mountain Arc review. But guys, that's the end of this video. And that's Diozy going out.